In this episode, we're going to focus on profile files. When developing your profiles, it may become necessary to store additional details inside of your profile that help empower your controls to be more dynamic. We'd like to test our cloud infrastructure that is provisioned by Terraform. Terraform enables us to create our infrastructure. When it's done, it shows us the output of all the instances, security groups, and other details that we would like to ensure were created. We're going to create a profile called two-tier to represent our two-tier application. Within the profile, we are going to create a number of controls that will describe our infrastructure. Here, we'll start with the AWS EC2 instance. We're going to make sure that it exists, that it's running, the correct image ID, the correct instance type, the VPC ID, the subnets, and an IP address. When we're done defining that control and other controls inside of that profile, we're going to execute that profile against our US East 1 region where we have set up our infrastructure. We see that everything passes. Now imagine we were to turn off that infrastructure using Terraform and later spin up that infrastructure again when we're ready to deploy our app again. We're going to see a new set of output values. When we use our profile to target the infrastructure that Terraform has recreated for us, we find that the profile fails in a number of ways. We can use the details or the output from the Terraform command to store that within our profile so that we can ensure that we are always running against the Terraform output that we place into there. When you run Terraform, you can specify the output in JSON. We'll do that and store it in a directory called files inside of our profile. On the right hand side, we have our profile file that contains our Terraform information. On our left, we have our control file. We're going to use the inspect helper method to grab the profile information and load the file terraform.json. We're then going to store the content of that file into a variable called content. Now that it's stored in there, we need to parse it to convert the JSON into a hash structure that allows us to interact with it in key and values. Now that we have the params, we're going to replace our hard-coded values with the values based on the Terraform JSON file. So we're going to use first the top-level key, ec 2 instancewebserver and then we're going to extract the value from that. We're not interested in the other field for our testing here just the ID values or the values stored for every one of those keys. We're going to move through the remainder of our test to use this parameterized testing. We then return to the command prompt and then run our test again and see that everything's passing. Now the next time we want to rebuild our infrastructure using Terraform, we could output the result into the profile and then execute the profile and see the result. If you'd like to learn more about InSpec, watch other videos in this series, or check out our tutorials or docs.